Hello guys, show you here recording more Dagan Romba and we're in the class trial. I haven't played this game for a few days, so I do not remember where we were. Let's see. Uh so that says. Which means it was you, Peko Peko Jama. <gasps> Peko killed poor Byakuya? Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? She has a very interesting perspective on this. Like, she really likes fashion, I guess. I am not the killer. Oh no, she's sweating. That means she's guilty. Oh, I guess she's not. <laughs> you were very easily convinced, Akane. How can you believe her so easily? Yep, indeed. But with Peko's height, I don't think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. Does that even matter? Wasn't there something to do with a table? I kind of remember something like that. I, I don't care about a technicality like that. Peko's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. Um, maybe with her sword. By tripping the breaker directly from the office, Peko was the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happened? No, I think that it has to do with the food uh, that was contaminated, maybe? Because, uh, because of the guy in the kitchen? After this debate, blue color weak spots will start appearing. If we call the weak spots you've seen up until now, argue po spots. The blue color weak spots will be called agree spots. Um, okay. When shooting agree spots with truth bullets, you need to flip your way of thinking. Instead of arguing that the other person's testimony contains lies or mistakes, Please fire the truth bullets that prove the other person's testimony is correct. Uh, when your truth bullets merge with their weakness, uh, it will become a logically sound agreement. Isn't it a little hot in here? From now on, you must infer whether it's best to argue or agree based on what's being debated. If you press the escape key during these arguments, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun! Um, Nekomanu's account, Teru's account, Chucky's account, I do not remember any of this. Since Peko was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time! Uh, That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. That is true. Not even before the blackout. I agree with that. I agree with that. And I use her own testimony. No, I think Pekka was telling the truth. Yes? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekka. Would that even matter? <laughs> I would die if she, I am not being thorough. It's nothing like that at all. Nekomaru's account is actually Pekka's alibi. Nekomaru says, I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. And it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. Ah, oh, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? Right. I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Peko. I... I guess that would be... true. Oh... wait, what? Didn't she have to run away to go to the bathroom? Or was that Nekomaru? You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier! There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive! If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long, there's no doubt. It's shit. Damn. <laughs> that guy is so blunt with bodily functions. <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. Yeah. Hey, weren't you guys taught any basic manners or were you raised in a locker room? Aren't you the one who says that boys will be boys and guys should be guys? I'm sorry. It it's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? 
Um, sure. Don't worry. The smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after you, so you can trust me. Damn. Thanks for the information, man. I, I said it's fine. <laughs> She's super embarrassed. But still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? I think she did. I think the food was the cause. As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Hmm. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the blackout occurred. Yeah, but the question is, did you eat the food before the stomach pain? Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Did you get excited? Dude, no, 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 no. You've gone too far, man. You've gone too far. Seriously, stop it. Yeah, please. But still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. Yeah, uh, somebody gave something to uh, Peko Peko. Like somebody gave her um, a laxative, maybe. But who? Was it the cook? Probably not, because otherwise everybody would be going. So it was probably someone in the party that just sprayed something on, on the food. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. What? Are you a detective now? Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Exactly what I said. What, it, what I'm saying. L laxatives? Oh, it was you. You're the nurse. You know what laxatives are. If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? Oh. Hmm. I see. That might have happened. The question is whether Peko's stomach ache was a coincidence, or if someone intentionally caused it. Depending, depending on the answer, the outcome of this trial could change drastically. Hmm. Knife, timer, embarrassing pose, party dishes, uh... Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Did you eat the now food? Now you mention it... Yes? You brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. Hmm. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Mm. Taro Taro cooked the food, how suspicious! Mm. I wouldn't do anything like that! Laxatives would ruin the taste! Mm, would they? Uh, coincidence or someone? Did you <sighs> eat anything weird? I don't mm. remember eating anything weird. Person post knife. Now that you uh. mention it, you brought food to the office, right? Huh. Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Person post. No. Nope. Sorry. Crap. <laughs> Uh, Did you eat anything weird? I see timer. I don't remember uh, eating anything weird. Now that you mention it, you brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Okay. Taro Taro cooked the food, how suspicious! Maybe. I, I wouldn't do anything like that! Laxatives would ruin the taste. No, god damn it. What am I doing? Um Crap. What am I doing? What is this? So Did I have you eat anything weird? Laxatives or I don't remember eating anything weird. Uh, now that you mention knife, it. Night vision goggles. Party dishes. You brought food to the office, right? Just a little bit from the dining hall. Hmm. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? No, that's wrong! Okay, so they weren't in the thing, it was uh, in the party dishes. No, it's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. Indeed. But Akane ate some of it too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. I feel totally fine! Like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. 
I apologize for causing a scene. No, 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 but it Fuyuhiko wasn't the... should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. What the fuck did you say, bitch? Oh, damn. Cease this bickering. The princess has spoken. Let's just dismiss Peko's stomachache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. It was you, Mikan. I know it. You are the one who used laxative on the dishes. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. Trashy skank? As long as the murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself is what's actually important. So we need to make it clear how the blackout occurred. Um... So wait. Storage room, tablecloth, account. Wait, what? Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. Did they throw a stone and hit it? No, no, no. Uh, irons. Maybe they used a remote control. They probably messed with the breaker. It does not have to be the breaker. Hmm. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Oh no. Uh crap. Hmm. Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? Uh if you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. Did they throw a stone and hit it? No. Maybe they used a remote control? They probably messed with the breaker. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Hmm. Or maybe they caused a power surge? That. I agree with that. I agree with that. It's just as Mahiru said. The blackout was caused by a power surge. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. Bum bum bum. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on, right? So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yeah, it seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Stupid fool! What? What's wrong with Hold you? Hold on a second, let me speak too! What? Why what are you heck? Why are you mad? You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! Um... Wait, what? Why, am, why are we discussing? What is going on? Uh, um... Uh... in case... RSS storage room... Is there a Uh... What am I supposed to do here? If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout... Then for the killer to turn the irons on... You're saying they went all the way to the storage room? Then that means everyone who is when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. Uh, the people who were in the den hall weren't able to go to the blackout. So it's really it. Narrowing down the suspects like that is dangerous. I should address that first. If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout, then for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the storage room? Then that means everyone who is it when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. Um, how did you play this the mini irons game? In the storage room caused the then for the killer to turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the storage? Then that means everyone who is in when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. Yep. But the people in the dining hall, if the irons, then the killer had to go to the s and turn on the iron. Now do you intend to take back what you said? Wait, am I doing it wrong? Uh... But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause- If the irons, then the killer had to go to the storage room before that and turn on the irons. Did they? What? Damn it! What am I doing? 
I was overcome. He's gonna go back to the original topic. If the irons in the storage room caused them, then for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the storage? Then that means everyone who is when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. Okay. No. no, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. I need another sword now, D don't I? But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. If the irons caused the black, then the killer had to go to the storage room before that and turn on the irons. Now do you intend to take back what you said? No, wait, what? God damn it. Uh, someone had to go there, but... <laughs> But the people in the dining hall weren't- If the irons- Then the killer had to go to the storage and turn on the irons! God damn it! what am I doing? Damn I have to if change the- If the irons in the storage room caused the blackout, then for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the storage? Then that means everyone who- When the blackout occurred, can't be a suspect! Okay. If the irons in the storage, then for the killer to turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the storage? Then that means everyone who is when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. I can't back down. No. <laughs> what am I doing? How do you play this? If the irons in the storage room caught, then for the killer to turn the irons on. You're saying they went all the way to the st Then that means everyone when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. Is this no, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. Can I have another sword now? But the people in the dining hall, if the irons, then the killer had to go to the store and turn on the iron. Now do you intend to take back what you said? What is but going on? the people on? in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. If the iron, then the killer had to go to the storage room before that and turn on the iron. Now do you intend to take back what you said? What is this? Why is this happening? But the people in the dining hall uh... weren't able to cause the blackout. If the irons caused the black, then the killer had to go to the storage room before that and turn on the iron. Now do you intend to take back what you said? Oh no, I think I think I think I know what's going on but here. But the people in the dining hall weren't able to cause the blackout. If the irons caused the blackout. There. Allow me to cut through those words. <sighs> God damn it. Took me a while to figure out what I was supposed to do. The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. The air conditioners! What, what, why are you so surprised? The timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m.? Mr. Ham Hams died around that time too! Indeed. I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see. I understand. Indubitably. Indubitably? Indubitably. They probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance and used the irons to nearly max it out. Hmm. So once they set the air conditioners timers, they just had to wait until they started up on their own. Megan looks Guilty. If so, even if Pekka was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout. Indubitably. Indubitably. Indubitably? Miss Sonia, not you too. Indubitably. Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Oh, wait, what? Dun dun dun! Is she right? Such a hateful bear! You deserve to die a thousand deaths! A thousand, you say? If I died that many times, I might really stay dead, you know? Why? Because there are not enough puppets like you. Shut up! You guys just stay quiet! I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. But even so, I feel regret. Oh no, do not go committing uh, some paco on me, please. If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. And maybe the murder wouldn't have occurred. No. The breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible. No matter what. That is kinda true. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. Was it you, Kiyoko? It's alright. 
you don't have to worry. Hmm. Because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. Oh no, the ultimate hope. Huh? There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. What is going on with this guy? Wait, is that you? Was it you? I think it was you, man. In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. You are trying so hard to be the ultimate hope. Uh, Nagito? W what happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Huh. Oh, is that so? Well, let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. You seem too calm, Nagito. For now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Right. I think it was you, man. Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Really? You're the one who cleaned the place, though. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? Unfortunately, it's the truth. Hmm. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. Uh... I am starting to think it was you, man. You had all that time to set things up. But that might be because... There's no way any of us could be a killer. You're weird. You, you're changing your story again? Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Yes? Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? Oh no, you're the psychopathic ultimate hope. Doesn't that mean... Are you... Nagito! There's definitely something wrong with you. Yep. <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. That makes no sense. Suspecting each other like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. So you believe there is a killer. But you wanna fake believing that there is no killer in order to be uh, on the moral high ground. God damn it! Such moral sig some such a virtue signaling from this guy. I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. I, I don't want to do this either. <laughs> me too. Please take me home already. Wait. Either he's a psycho that is doing what I just explained. Uh, that he wants to be the ultimate hope and really be, uh, uh, I don't know, die for his um, convictions. Not really convictions. I don't. I don't even know. Or he's just faking it so nobody uh, finds the killer, and he was the killer, so he would get by. It's either of one of those two possibilities, I think. <laughs> I want to go home and eat candy. Dude. Look at your nose. S stop it. If everyone acts like this, I... I'm gonna... Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna cry, Mahiru? Everyone calm down. We're all friends, aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Um... <laughs> then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. Oh, dude. There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. Huh. That's wrong. Thank you, Chiaki. I think. Have you played many detective games? Did you say something? Guys, we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. Have we? A clue, you say? You know who the killer is? The killer? I don't know, but we do have a clue about a suspicious person, I think. Yes. Oh, also, nice um, pose. I see. Then care to tell me, 
What's this clue you're talking about? It is that you're freaking insane, man. First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. Uh huh. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. I mean, before that. Yeah. Like. Okay. Uh, is she asking how the killer got close to the table? Is she? No, I think she's saying how she he put the knife there. Even if they had to obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint, in order to do that, they needed to get close to that table while it was still dark. That is true. Let's try examining the situation. My hero's diagram might be useful here. Yep. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Right. Um... Here it is! Okay. Nagito! I see you. Uh, no, wait. And where is Mikan? Mikan is there. Uh, but she fell because of her own doing. Yeah. So it was probably Nagito. Just as I thought, this diagram is the clue. Who the killer is and how they were able to move to the table in the dark, that's clearly shown in this diagram. First, we need to discuss how the killer was able to move to that table in the dark. The killer probably used something to help them move in the dark. Uh, this? But this was... Biakuyas. I mean... The duct tape was under the table, right? But they were saying the killer used to move in the dark? Nope. Crap! Um... Okay, the goggles? Uh, Biakuya was using it, yes, I know. There's no way the killer... Crap. Okay. What about... Um... Uh, ma 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 ma... What did they use? The knife? No, but because the knife was there. I am confused what they are what they are asking of me. Um The cloth? Use the tablecloth to move in the dark. Um What about the carpet? Um uh, okay, so what is that? I'm sorry but I have no idea what you're talking about. Crap! Hmm. <laughs> what am I doing? The lamp? Here! Okay. The killer must have used the desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. How so? The desk lamp? I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. Do I? There was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. I am as confused as you are. Um, of course there is no way to use the desk lamp's light. The killer actually used... The power cord. Oh. I can prove it with this! They didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. Hmm. The power cord? They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? Right. By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table, then use the glowing paint to find the knife. Right. And there's only one person here who could have done that. That is Nagito. Who? The only person here who could have possibly done that is. Select someone. You're the only one! The only one. Nagito. It was you, wasn't it? Tan tan tan. Me? Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. Which means, the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was Nagito! That is such circumstantial evidence, but the way he was acting all suspicious uh, made it so possible. If it was not for that, I would have said that that is like, not good enough, but... 
In this case, because of how he's been acting, dude. <laughs> That's just a coincidence. But still, you had a chance, right? A chance to hide the knife under the table? Yeah, because he was cleaning. Nagito's chance to hide the knife under the table was right after the murder. When he was cleaning. I see! Nagito, weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? All morning. If so, you would have had a chance to hide the knife. Th that's... That's... If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning, you're the only one who could have done it. The only one. Seriously! That's all just a coincidence! Then the freaking cracks on the floor were such a uh, goose chase. If it was just one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right after another... I wonder... Is something like that even possible? I wonder. Could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? I mean, maybe to find a way to kill someone, but that would be too specific. Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. Chan chan chan. To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. Hmm, suspicious. Uh, to go to the trouble of preparing this, just what did you think would happen? Moreover, trust this chopstick with a red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? That is very impressive to rig a drawing like that. Um, he's like a magician. I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless... It proves that you're suspicious, right? Right. <laughs> he doesn't know what to say. Look at his eyes. The worry. The pain. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm gonna leave it left here. And in the next part, we're gonna be seeing how Nagito responds. And trying to play the freaking minigame to defeat him. Maybe. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.